close your eyes and watch your breath. We watch the breath partly because it's a good place to stay in the present moment, and partly because it's good for our future, too. The Buddhist teachings aren't all about the present. They realize that the present moment goes someplace. What you do now is going to have an impact, both now and on into the future. So you want to make sure that that future impact is good. The Buddha talks about heedfulness, and you can say that it's the opposite of complacency, and it's also the opposite of apathy. That's part of the mind that just doesn't care. The complacent mind says, well, things are going to be okay. Apathetic mind says, even if they're not okay, I don't care. And both of those are your enemies, because you're not going to be willing to put out an extra effort in the present moment for the sake of the future. You just leave the future to its own, own devices, which is not a wise attitude at all. So you think about what you're doing right now and the impact it's going to have down the line. And getting the mind in a good state of concentration is a really good place to practice all the things you're going to need, because there are a lot of things we don't know about the future. We do know there's going to be aging, illness, and death, but the details of that we don't know. When the body comes up with a disease, often it's a surprise. The parts of the body that seem to be working all along suddenly decide they're not going to work, and they don't consult you. And they don't ask you, is this the kind of disease you'd like to have? They just go ahead and do their thing. So the details we're not prepared for. What we're prepared for is just the general direction. But we realize that okay, if we have a lot of mindfulness and alertness and discernment, we'll be able to deal with whatever comes up. So we develop those qualities right now. And it's not like we're totally sacrificing well-being in the present for the sake of the future. By getting the mind into concentration, we're having an immediate sense of well-being right here. When you get the breath so that the mind can settle down and feel at home here, you've got something that's pleasant now and pleasant in its consequences. So make sure that you work on this, on this skill. This is the skill that brings us all together. We all want happiness, and we all realize that if our happiness depends on being unskillful and harming other people, harming ourselves, it's not something we want. We want happiness that's harmless all around. That's why we come from lots of different backgrounds, but we all have the same purpose. And the nature of the purpose is something that binds us together, makes us easy for us to live together. So make sure you're constantly looking at what you're doing and what the consequences are going to be. And try to do it with a good sense of humor, so it's not too grim. And getting the mind into concentration helps with that. You've got a sense of well-being. It's a lot easier to step back from your own foibles and laugh at them. But realize there are foibles, things that you have to work through. And the fact that we're living here together, let's help one another in this direction. Give each other, give one another space, give one another our own wishes for well-being, and realize okay, everybody else wishes well-being as well. So this is something that ties us together. We want to do it wisely. And that way our well-being is good for all. <laughs>